Hi everyone, it's Holly again, and I just wanted to share with you a special gift that you can make for someone, be it a teacher, your friend, your grandmother, your mom, or even your sister. And that is the home decor products from Close to My Heart. This happens to be the black frame, and I absolutely love it, and I just wanted to share with you something that you could do. Um, hopefully it'll spark some uh, creative interest for you today. And I just want to thank Sandra Rutledge, who is a fellow consultant at Close to My Heart. She had posted this idea on a Facebook page that I'm a part of, and I absolutely loved it, and I had to recreate it, maybe make it a little bit my own by changing a few things here and there, but for the most part it was her idea, so I want to definitely send a shout out to her and thank her for her inspiration because I'm not very crafty and I love to get ideas from others and when I can pass them on to you, I absolutely think it's a plus. So what I wanted to share with you today is what I did, what are some of the products that I used and how easy it is for you to go home and recreate this yourself. This is what the black frame looks like when you get it. On the back, you'll notice that it already has the settings to either hook it vertically or horizontally on a wall. Love that the wire is already set in. And then when you get these frames, you're going to find that there are some little foam pads that you're wanna, gonna wanna peel off the back and then secure them in the bottom corners on all four sides, and that will prevent the frame from scratching your wall. Great little bonus. These are some of the products that I used. All of the details will be listed on my blog so you'll be able to jot them down. I used the Ariana Paper Packet, one of my absolute favorite papers this season. Also used one of the exclusive Cricut cartridges from Close to My Heart. This one happens to be the Art Philosophy. And that's how I made the beautiful rosettes that you notice on each corner of the frame. And I'm gonna share with you a special tip that I learned how to make rosettes look absolutely lifelike and beautiful. Two products that I used uh, from Close to My Heart to achieve that look as well as the quilling tool. So there's really three products. This is what your rosette will look like when you cut it out. It's pretty flat and you're wondering how do I make it look dimensional and real. You're going to use the quilling tool from Close to My Heart to actually quill the rosette together. But before you do that, I recommend using the spray bottle from close to my heart. And these spray pens are great because you can put re-inker in them and water and you can create a splatter mark on your projects. Or what I did today is I just filled it with water and I'm gonna spritz it onto the paper. And by adding a little bit of water to cardstock, it makes it more pliable so that you can roll it and form it into the shape that you want without it tearing. And it will tear just slightly as it's drying, but that's okay. For the purpose of what we're doing today, we want it to tear a little bit because no rose is perfect. So you're gonna take the quilling tool. There's two sides to it. I'm gonna use the smaller side, and I'm just gonna slip it right here in the corner of the end of this rose, and I'm gonna just start to bend it and roll it towards me. Whoops, it just kind of fell off a little bit, so you wanna make sure that that's nice and tight before you start quilling it. You just get that little guy in there. And then as you're rolling it, do you see how the paper is rolling with me? And it's starting to take on the shape of a rose. And you just keep rolling it and rolling it until you get to the very end, just like this. And then when you're done, you're going to just pull that out real gently so that it doesn't tear. And look at how it's created the shape of a rose. Now I'm going to go back and bend it a little bit. Now that my paper is still a little moist, I'm gonna go back and just kind of keep bending it. Again, like I said, it's okay if the paper tears. It adds to the shape and the lifeness of the flower, if that's even a word. And then once I'm done and I've got my flower, my rose where I want it, I'm just gonna start rolling it back into shape, kind of letting it go back and fall how it will and then I'm gonna use the liquid glass as my bonding agent. This is such a great product. Not only does it help to glue any of your projects onto the paper onto your projects, but it is an amazing product that adds like a glass-like finish to anything. So you can apply it on the outside. If you wanna make the flower look like it has some rose drops or dew drops, not rose drops, but dew drops. You know what I mean. Anyway, 
this is what it's going to look like when you get done. And you're just going to let that liquid glass cure and set. So hold it into shape like that. And when you get done, these are what they're going to look like. They're absolutely gorgeous. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you'll take advantage of the special that we have going on at Close to My Heart. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me some feedback and I'll be happy to answer them for you. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.